I'm going to show you how to easily design and print a shelf or product tag using Label Live. First, we'll click on the text button to add text. This text will be the product name. We'll call it Fun Toy. Next, we'll copy and paste this and create a price, $9.99. What we can do right away is align this text to the right so that as we adjust the price, it's right justified. We'll copy and paste again, and this will be the description of the fun toy. This text needs to be multi-line so it can change how many lines it takes up on the screen. We're gonna set it to the half the size of the label. We're also gonna adjust the font and adjust the spacing. So in theory, this should take up half the size of the label. All right, looking good so far. Now we need a UPC code. We'll select it from barcode and we'll place it down here in the corner. Now we're pretty much done. Maybe we want this to be bold. And we can fine tune to our heart's desire, but every time we want to change this product, we have to change the design of the label. But Label Live is designed from the ground up to be integrated with spreadsheet data. So if we go over to the data tab, click import, and open up our spreadsheet, it will load all of our data over here. So each row in the spreadsheet becomes something that we can select and preview. So we have widget, which is listed here. We can select doodad, and it updates all the information, and then thingy, and it updates down here. But how do we get this information into our label? We use something called variable formatting. We can get an example of this at any time by clicking on one of these plus buttons, and it will show us what we need to type into a text or barcode object to get this variable to show up. So over here, we can double click on fun toy and change this to name, and it automatically updates to thingy, which is what we have selected over here. If we select widget, this updates. Now we can do the same thing for price, and we lost our dollar sign, so that's pretty easy. We just add it right back in the front. Down here, we're gonna put warning. And then over here, we have a shortcut. We can click this drop down and select code. Pretty simple. Now when we go to data and select a row, it automatically updates all of our variables. But here's the kicker. A lot of times your data is different sized, and so we need to make sure that this description doesn't go off the label. That's easy with Label Live. Just select the text, go to anchor, and change the anchor point to the bottom left. When this happens, any change to the size of this label will happen in the up and right direction. Check it out. Pretty slick. So this is a quick way to design a shelf tag or really any other label design using barcodes, text elements, anchors, all with Label Live and imported spreadsheet data. Let's see what these labels look like when we print them. We'll print rows one through three, hit print. Oh, they look great. I'm really excited for you to try building your own shelf tag labels or any other label with Label Live. Make sure to post some comments if you have any questions. We'll be here to help.